writers, you have all been working so hard on your information books and talking with all of you and learning about what you know and what you care about has been extremely fun and exciting for me. Every one of us will learn so much from reading all of your information books. And I wanna make sure that that information doesn't get lost. You all have so much to teach that you definitely are going to need to build sentences so that you can hold on to more information. You have so much to teach that simple sentences won't be enough. You need to learn ways to make more complex sentences to help you teach readers more information as you write. So today I want to teach you that when writers have a lot to say, they don't just stop at one idea per sentence. They can use a comma plus a linking word to put two related things inside just one sentence with the linking word, teaching the reader how the things go together. They can also add lists with commas separating these items. I'm gonna show you what I mean by showing you a few different examples of sentences that do this. Okay, let's look at one sentence at a time. First, we'll start with the top one. Now, as I look at this sentence and study it closely, I want you to be thinking alongside me, what has the author done? How has the author managed to teach more than one thing in this sentence? Turtles eat worms, insects, snails, fish, flowers, and even fruits and vegetables. Hmm. You probably noticed that this sentence has a list in it, and there are commas separating the different items in the list. Worms, insects, snails, fish, flowers, and even fruits and vegetables. And then let's look at the second sentence and see if there are any differences. Some turtles like to swim under the water, but some turtles prefer to sit on sticks on top of the water. A little bit different. Also using commas, hmm. But what's the difference here? Do you see how there is kind of like a change in the middle of the sentence? Some turtles like to swim under the water, but some turtles prefer to sit on sticks on top of the water. So in this sentence, it uses commas as well. But instead of just giving us a list, we're actually getting two pieces of information instead of one sentence. Both of these sentences show that you can use commas and connecting words to convey more information in just one sentence. You just have to know how to put the sentences together in a way that makes sense. And the way that you do that is by using something we like to call coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions, it's really just a word that joins two elements together. These might be nouns, adjectives, verbs, or phrases like we've seen here in the turtles examples. You might have a list of nouns, just like this one. These are a list of things, animals, creatures. You could have a list of adjectives that describe a list of verbs that show what's happening. And then also two different phrases right here. Some turtles like to swim under the water. Some turtles prefer to sit on six on top of the water. These could be two different sentences, right? However, if I use a coordinating conjunction, then I can make it into one fancy longer sentence. So coordinating conjunctions, let's just see. You might, have, you might recognize some of these words. In fact, I know for that some of you use these in your writing already. Coordinating conjunctions, there's a comma first before you change from one idea to the next or one phrase to the next, and then the words that link it. And, but, yet, or, or so. These can connect information that maybe is slightly different and also bring information together, just like how you've seen. Now, let me show you how I do this by writing some new sentences. I'm gonna make a list of things that I like. This will probably mean I'll wanna use the word and, and then some commas to list some stuff off. Okay, let me try this. 
things I like. I like the color purple. I like dogs. I like music. I like sports. I like learning. I like books. So I want to make sure that it's clear to the reader that these are all things that I like and that the list does come to an end. I can do that by separating the information or the items in my list with commas and then connecting with maybe the word and. So it turns into this kind of sentence. I like the color purple. I like dogs. I like music. I like sports. I like learning. And I like reading good books. Notice how even though these are this is these are not two different sentences, like this one. I still want to use the comma and it still works. I'm still coordinating these two things, bringing them together or multiple things together. What if I wanted to tell you about something that I like, but something that I also don't like? Then I want to use a coordinated conjunction that helps me show opposites, maybe. Maybe the word but or yet. So it could go something like this. I like cutting paper with sharp scissors, but I also like ripping paper too. Did you hear the coordinated conjunction there? I use the comma and but to help you show two to help show two different pieces of information. I like to cut paper with sharp scissors, but I also like ripping paper too. So according conjunctions can help me to show a lot and to convey more information and make longer, more fanciful sentences. By doing this, you come across as really being an expert in your, in your field or your topic and also sound like a very sophisticated writer. So my hope for you today is that you try this on your own. You look at your own writing and you see where you've already maybe given some lists. And you see if you can make, you wanna make sure that you're using coordinating conjunctions, commas, the word and perhaps, to bring those lists together, to convey it all in one long fancy sentence. You also might wanna look at your writing today and see if you can also find places where you could show two different pieces of information side by side. Maybe you're in a compare and contrast chapter and you want to show two different things or problem solution or cause and effect. These coordinated conjunctions can help you to show two things like that in one sentence. So when you go off today, I hope that you check this, these materials out on the Padlet so you can review the examples and also get a list of coordinated conjunctions and then check your writing against these examples and also perfect your writing. Maybe you're revising, but maybe you're also running some new sentences today. Sentences that help you sound super knowledgeable, sophisticated, which you already are. Okay, I can't wait to see what you do to your writing. And I hope that you use this, not just in this writing piece, but in all writing pieces to come.